Hello, darlings. Happy Thursday to all of you out there, and welcome back to Let's Build the Worlds. That was very um melodramatic, that one. Very into it, actually, to be honest. Hello, part four, the Hargroves. We're here, we're back. We're going to be continuing on with the build today. Um, I've also decided to bring the fifth part out tomorrow instead. I know, I know, I've promised you Beryl twice now and I've ripped it out of your hands. But to be honest with you, I'm just feeling really inspired with this build at the minute. And it's my birthday weekend starting from tomorrow. And I don't think I'm going to have time to finish off the rest of the little bits that need to be done in time for me to go away for my trip for the weekend. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to bring out the fifth part of the Hargroves instead. So I'm going to be pre-recording that as well. So you'll probably see me in the same t-shirt. <sighs> Sacrilege. Um, yes. Anyway, so yes, there we go. Nothing more needs to be said. We're going to get into game and we're going to start building. Okay, you beautiful buggers. Here we are. We are back at the Hargrove's house. A um, few little changes done from last time. I had some wicked ideas off of you, God. Wicked. I've, I don't say that word. Stop it. Brilliant ideas off of you, guys. Wicked. Where did that come from? For goodness sake. Um, One of you guys said to put an island in the middle of the pool because the pool is really big and I like that idea. So I've just stuck on a couple more sun lounges onto that area itself um, a big change has been made. I really... Blair? Was it Blair? Who said this? I think it was. Blair said, why don't you make this into the master suite itself? And I was already thinking about that. The more I was building these, I was like, these are quite small. These are quite small for a house this big. These are quite small. I'm still going to make them into bedrooms. Still going to make them into bedrooms. I'm actually going to make one of them into a toddler bedroom as well. Um, I know it's far away from the bedroom, but they haven't got that far to walk. They can go there and deal with a toddler do you know what I mean? It's fine. The toddler might come out there and fall down the stairs and whatnot, but that is not our problem. Okay. Anyway, so this is going to be an office as well. I'm going to make that into an office. This is going to be, oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know about that yet. I'm going to knock that down. I'm going to knock that down and we'll decide upon that because I had to get rid of two skylights to do that. And I was absolutely fuming about it. Was that the last thing I did? No. What was the last thing I did? I'll oh, put the lights in. Was it the last thing after that? No, I put a door in there. No, nope, that was too far back. We won't go back that far. <laughs> we'll just put two more skylights in once we get rid of that office. Anyway, um, so these are obviously still going to be the guest suites. I've started to put walls in them now um, so they can kind of come through here. This is going to be a nice bathroom moment. I might wall this area off and have this like a little dressing room. Don't know what we're going to do with that. Same with those bathrooms. Another great idea from you guys as well is to put in like the on like the um, spa I mean, look how glorious that looks underneath. I'm um, for that. I really am. So we got rid of that hot tub and we put in the onsen. The reason I didn't even think about it is because I forget about this. I forget about this object all the time. I just... and I, Snowy Escape is amazing for building for me. It's one of my favourite building packs. But I forget about that all the time. So I sunk that into the ground, put a little um, ledge up around it, a little platform, and um, put some greenery in there. I'm still going to put some ferns and stuff in there when it comes to detailing. But I just think that fits in super well on that side there. Um, other changes that were made. So this, I didn't even mention this last time. I was editing the video back. My God, that was a video, wasn't it? I was a bit fuming yesterday. Still am a little bit today. So there's probably going to be some kind of saltiness floating through. This is going to be the gym area. But because we moved the spa from the top there, I've decided to do a little spa. We're going to do a little home spa in here with its own little shower moment going on there. Um, and this is going to be the gym. So this is kind of the gym slash spa area. Uh, what other changes are made? I made changes with the stairs as well. I decided to use platforms instead of stairs. Um, I might actually change that one there for that there. Just so it kind of fits in there. Yeah, no, that's better. Um, and the same there as well. We got rid of those stairs because it just wasn't working on them for some weird reason. People were saying it's because of basements and stuff underneath. It's nothing to do with that because there's no basements anywhere near the stairs. It's just the Sims um what else did we do i also changed the orientation of the uh kind of seating pit area um i put in like a little corner there rather instead i've decorated up the natural pool a little bit more as well i've also put in some hedges going along here which is this is where it's going to be the outside kitchen area and i don't know whether to shorten these stairs down i might actually do that actually so i can fit a dining table here 
I'm thinking about doing that. Now, do I want to... Oh, do I want to drag these across as well? I probably do, don't I, really? Um, so I think we're going to do that. Rather than having the stairs that wide, I think we're going to be able to put in a dining table in there. I mean, we could fit one in here as well. We could put a dining table in there, but I kind of prefer the stairs a little bit thin like that anyway. So that's what we're going to do. Also, changes were made over here as well. We needed somewhere for some veg and stuff, I would imagine... Um, them liking their organic produce and things. So maybe they've got their gardener that comes over um, and does that, you know. And obviously we need to do a child's area as well. And I didn't want to do this really. I know they've got a toddler, but there were so many of you in the comments like, please do a, a children's area. I was just like, oh, do we have to? Do we have to? It's going to ruin the aesthetics of this place. It really is. But we're going to do it anyway because it kind of makes sense for gameplay. So I've stuck the toddler area over in that corner there. So that was, the that was the changes this time that I made off of camera. Minus a few other little details and stuff. Ivy and things. Um, but we're going to continue today. We're going to con con we're gonna continue today. And I'm going to start off with the kind of outdoor kitchen, I think. Now, I need to work out first what kitchen I'm going to be using in the interior. Because I don't really want to use the same kitchen outdoors, I don't think. So give me one second while I just have a little ponder. Okay, decided. We're going to use the dream home decorator kitchen in the interior. I think I think that just fits in with the vibe of it in here quite nicely. So we're going to use that in there. And I think we'll use the snowy escape kitchen outside. Um, probably going for like a darker brown out here as well, to be honest with you. Um, oh, yes, that would look nice. Let me just see that lighter one a minute. I don't like the top to that one. I don't like the top. And we all like a top, don't we, darlings? <laughs> And I keep saying, I keep seeing you guys write in the comments, oh, Aiden, you've topped yourself with this build. And I was just like, if only I could top myself, you know. Um, <laughs> and I mean that in the sexual sense, of course. <laughs> Enough. Enough of that tomfoolery. Thank you very much for that being absolutely disgusting. You really are. But what do you expect with a community like this? They're all disgusting in this community. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, so barbecue area. I'm going to use this one here. Now, I'm going to push it right in against the wall. I know like in game this will go into that wall, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. I think it will fit in there quite nicely. Let me just try that lighter one here, even though I didn't like the color of the top. Um, now, I think we should stick with the darker one. We'll stick with the darker one and we'll just do a little moment like this. Oh, it needs to be a sink here. Mm, yeah, I could put a sink on that one and a corner piece here as well. Stunning. Oh, absolutely stunning that. Yes. Yes, that's nice. I do enjoy that. Do enjoy that. So this is going to be the outdoor seating area. So I do need some kind of understated, lovely dining table being out here as well. So I'm going to have a whiffle through and see what I'll come up with. This is what we're doing. I've changed it. I actually went back and changed this only after I added these chairs in because it's got a lighter wood tone on it. I just think they suit that a little bit more. And I like the mid-century vibes that we're getting off of these chairs as well. And I've used this big glass table, big chunky glass table that we're going to use here as well. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm thinking of putting a pergola down here. I think it might look really nice and I reckon I could fit it in okay. Um, oh, that does look nice. I love those chairs with the sides now. With the, um, yeah, I'm for it. Absolutely for it. So... We need to figure out what pergola we're going to use. I mean, we've, we haven't got that much of a choice, really, have we? Pergola. Not the Jardin ones. As, mu as much as I would love to use you, we can't. Um, uh, it would probably need... Oh, Christ. Look at the size of you. Look at the bloody size of you. I'm going to have to move this down. Oh, no. It went down by itself. <gasps> oh, that's what peens do. They go down by themselves. <laughs> Boy, sometimes you've got to make... Just shut up, Aiden. <laughs> just... Just no. <laughs> Just be quiet. <laughs> Just be quiet. I mean, I like that, but I'm thinking about getting rid of these chairs. I mean, there's a family of three, three guests. I don't like the flowers. Ugh. I don't like the flowers, so I might try and disguise them with some ivy or something. It's the, like, there's too much colour there. I want this to be green. We were saying this is going to be a green area, and I meant it. Let me see what that's going to look like. Do we have a black version of this? Yeah, we do. Oh, red flowers even worse. Bloody hell. I prefer that colour though. I do prefer that colour. And it's not exactly like a black tone either. It's like a dark brown, isn't it? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling that, but we I need to try and hide this away. The red, it's just, I just don't want flowers. I don't want flowers. Okay. I don't want flowers here. What about if I turn it the other way and we can't see it? <laughs> That's kind of better, actually. I mean, that kind of, I'm still going to try and hide them, but that, yeah. I'm going to face it the other way. Oh, stunning. Right, let me see if I can find something that will disguise the flowers a little bit better. I found something perfect that will, so I'm going to put it back the other way now. Now that I know I can disguise them a little bit better, I'm going to use this ivy, which was from Get Together. Get Together, I think. I've just opened Photoshop. Why have I done that? What was the short key for opening up Photoshop? How very dare that. I did not even know I could do that. Um, What did I press then? <laughs> What's the hotkey for opening up Photoshop? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've definitely not set one, so I've no idea how it did that. Um, Right, sizing down, lifting up. Lifting up. Um, there might be a little bit of red that pokes through, but I'd rather, I don't mind. And, and someone's probably like, why are you trying to hide the red flowers? I don't want them. I don't want them, all right? And it's my build. <laughs> so I do what I fucking like, right? <laughs> Imagine if I was like that. <laughs> An absolute twat. Right, there we go. Yes, I don't know how I'm going to hide the ones that go over in that position over there, but I'm going to give it a go. These are probably all... Oh, God, that was a bit small, that one. Let me see that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cute. I do like that. Okay, right, spin you around, my love. Size you down a couple. Whiffle you up. Did just burp then. Do excuse me. I've just had poached, poached eggs on toast. <gasps> Love poached eggs on toast. Everyone's favourite eggs. In the comments. How do you like your eggs? Um, And apologies to vegans. And yeah. All of that business. But how do you like your eggs? How do you... What did me and my friend used to say? How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a dick. <laughs> My friends are just as weird as me, loves. <laughs> just as weird as me. <laughs> but I don't mind a, you know, a little bit of mourning. How's your father? <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? A little bit of mourning, how's your father? I'm all for a bit of mourning. In the morning, how's your father? <laughs> Why was it ever called that? Why was it ever an innuendo? How's your father? A bit of how's your father? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> I don't know, but you know, the more you learn. So if anybody knows the reasons behind that, then let me know in the comments. <laughs> uh, I told you it's going to be a weird one again today, darlings. Weird one again. But when is it not ever weird? You know, you know, you know by now you've been here long enough. You've been in this filthy community for long enough to realize. <laughs> no idea what this is going to look like from the side. Oh, that's fine. It's fine. It's not perfect, but it will do. And that's all that matters, isn't it? And that, it just sometimes goes for life as well. It's not perfect. It's fine. It will do. You've been, yeah, that was learning from me. You're welcome. You are welcome. You really are. Anyway, yeah, that looks cool. That looks better. There's not too much red floating out from there now. I like it. I like this vibe. We need to get a sink in as well. Um, maybe a few more palmy leaves around here as well. I'm feeling that. And I don't think I'm going to fit a fire pit in here, but I would love some kind of area where they could like sit down on some bench, like not benches, but sofas, outdoor sofas. So hopefully we can make that come through. Um, I don't want to do some kind of like wooden detail down here on the walls, like this kind of vibe. Let me see. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That goes with it as well. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's flop these on. Um, I'm probably going to have to overlap them slightly. Probably am. In fact, what I could do is whiffle it down to that level there. And then I could lift them above it. And it would be the perfect... Just for some architectural detail down there. Yeah, I think I do like that. But I think what I'm going to do is get rid of the brick from behind it. I think I'm going to get rid of the brick from behind there. Uh, go on, get in there. Lovely. And just put a nice concrete down, I think. Just a nice concrete number. Um, Let me find something. Oh, maybe you. Maybe something like that. I just think it would work better having a not so much texture underneath of it. There's enough texture on that wall. 
Yes, it is nice, but I don't think I want it grey now I've looked at it. Maybe I need to go slightly warmer. Oh, that's better. That's better. Just that little change of tone there. Did that just change all of that wall? It did. Ugh. Oh, that's going to do it all the way along. Okay, well, I'll put the brick back on like that, darlings. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. Do enjoy that. Just a little bit of texture down there, darlings. I'm all for a bit of texture, me. As long as it's not, um, I don't know, it takes away focal points. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, no, that's cute. I do like that. I do. Okay, we need lighting. We need floor length lighting. I'm going to use the light of dreams that I use all the time when I want to do a bit of floor lighting. And I have done since the pack released. And I think you all know what pack I'm going to use. And it's Spade. Spade, as I like to say. Um, so I'm going to do some nice moments down here. We're going to size them down, though. They're always a little bit too big. They're always a li little bit too big. I bet there is at least somebody out there now singing that um, that egg song. <laughs> and I bet from now on you are going to use the D word, aren't you? <laughs> My work here is done. Good day. Um, right, yeah, that one was in that point there. Stunning. Oh, Christ. Oh. Oh, Christ. Uh, and there. There we go. Beautiful. Yes. And then look. Oh, what a lovely glow down here of, of an evening. You can imagine it. You can imagine it. And I'm for that. Right. So that was, we've done that. We've done that area. I'm happy with how that area looks. Again, we're keeping it minimal. I'm not going to do a lot of clutter in this house at all. It's going to be a very minimalist, mid-century vibed house on the interior and the exterior as well. I'm making sure to get mid-century elements out here um, from my own kind of like styling. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. Right. Okay. Outdoor seating. <gasps> oh, they've got a lovely swatch of dark. Uh, I would like. Ugh. 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 Swatch is so sad. Look at that. Disgusting. Disgusting, that is. <laughs> um, I need to think. Ooh, I kind of like these out here. These are from the Dream Home Decorator. I've used them in a, like a pinky tone as well. I thought it fit in really lovely with the colour of the flooring at the bottom. And they kind of look like outside sofas as well. Do you know what I mean? They kind of got a vibe. They almost look like they're covered in leather or something. I know leather wouldn't do very well outdoors, but I think that's what I'm going to use out here. I do. Did you just see my toe again? You'd like to make an appearance every now and again, don't you, darling? Okay, now... Honest to Betsy. Where the God are <laughs> She likes to make herself known. She has been in at least three of my last videos. <laughs> she has. She's like, hey, I'm still here. Let him gas out your joints, darling. <laughs> oh, God. I really am a twat. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm really fine with that. Absolutely fine with that. Yes, this kind of, I think this would look lovely. And I think what we need to do is like a low level, um, I was going to do a coffee table, but I think it would just be a bit of a squish. I think it'd be a bit of a squish if I put a coffee table there. I mean, it wouldn't, but I was thinking more of like a low table on this side. Maybe the Moschino one. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can't remember the swatches from that. Let me find it. Ooh, I mean, the brown's a bit off. But it's kind of tying in with like the bottom of the chairs there and not so much that brown, but maybe they would work actually. I quite like that. I quite like them there. Or maybe I could use that as a coffee. Oh, yes. Yes, that's much better. Yes. We'll use that as a little mini coffee table in the middle and that doesn't take up too much space then. So they can kind of get around it. They can kind of get around it. Let me see what you're looking like from above. You're looking nice. I do. Do I want to do two more plants on this side is that a little bit too like copy pasty let me see i mean i don't actually hate that i thought i was not going to enjoy the kind of symmetry of that I, if you know me i'm not a massive fan of symmetry i like asymmetric just pleases my eye a lot more than symmetry does and i know that makes people fuming and it should make me fuming because i'm a virgo but it doesn't it really doesn't 
Yeah, no, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I am. I'm gonna absolutely do that. I do think we need some kind of candle on the outside here, on this here. Um, the candles in The Sims 4 are shit, to be honest with you. We haven't got good ones. And don't even mention the ones from Eco Lifestyle. Um, I don't want to go searching for them. I can't be asked. I can't be asked. Oh, you, you'll do fine. Yes. Oh, that's fine. And we'll keep the wood lighter as well. Just so it blends in nicely down there. I like that area. I don't know about you lot, but I love how that's kind of come through. Yeah, nice little entertaining space for friends and family and whatnot. Imagine coming down here, sitting, having a nice meal or a, a nice bit of lunch during the day for all your friends. You sit here, have a little talk, a few drinks. We are doing a bar, by the way. I forgot to even mention that. We're going to put a bar on this area here um, next to the onsen spa. What do they actually call it? Is it a spa? Hot spring bath. There we go. Hot spring bath. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Then they're coming up here, get a few drinks from the bar. Sitting around, having a bit of a laugh, getting in the pool. Oh, I'd love to do that. I'd love if we could all do that together. Imagine if we could all rent a house and all, just all go there. And all the, all the subscribers and friends in the community can all just hang out with each other. I'd be for that. I really would. I really would. And if I can make that happen one day, if I can fit 100,000 of you <laughs> in a house, <laughs> an Airbnb, <laughs> then um, that will happen. <laughs> then that will happen yeah that's cute i do like that yeah lovely okay right we're gonna move on over and start on the kind of bar area okay i have been testicles in this a little bit just to see if it does work it makes the stairs a little bit squished it does but i really wanted to use this kind of like um curved bar moment from star wars it just makes the stairs just a little bit squished there so i'm thinking because i really want to use that that looks smashing here i think it does anyway i think it looks smashing right underneath of here look and it's kind of mid-century though these like i don't know i don't know why it just gives me kind of um frank lloyd wright vibes which i'm for which is heavily going to be inspired especially in the interiors with his houses <clears throat> even though i didn't realize how problematic he was i don't know if anybody's looked into that but he was a very pro problematic person um so we're just taking inspiration from his vision and not the awful person that he actually was um so <laughs> carrying on anyway um let's put this all the way around here I mean, we could do that, couldn't we? There's enough space for the Sims to get up there. The only problem is they have to walk all the way around here to get to the bar itself. So I do need a better point. I need to refigure this. I'll be with you in just a sec. There. <laughs> there. That's opened that space up really nicely, actually. And then they can get up this way and go beyond the bar and whatnot. Still a bit squished here, but I don't really mind that. That's a, that's fine. That's fine. It's not perfect, but I think it's fine. Um... And I do like that bar. I do like that bar. Especially around this like area here. I think it's I think it suits it. Sorry, but it's those eggs. I do like an ass egg. <laughs> somebody said somebody said in the comments the other day that they um that was their favourite bit from uh from um bad lip reading. And that was one of my me and my best friend's favourite bits as well. I do like an ass egg. <laughs> It was the Twilight bad lip reading, if you were wondering, by the way. Um, yeah, one of my favourites. One of my favourites. If not my favourites. If not my favourite, even. Correct in anglais, please, Aiden. Um, do I want them in that kind of vibe going through there? I think so. I think so. Or do we just do them in like a straight line across it? Let me see that as well. Um, I think they're a bit big. They're a little big. Um, so I might size them down, but I think I prefer them in a straight line across there. I think I do. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very hard decision that. Very. Oh, you know, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. It just looks a little bit weird when you're looking from this view and seeing these lights spaced up weirdly across. So we're going to, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Oh, stunning. Yes, I'm for that. I'm glad we used the curve bar now. Very, very glad. Now, I think the perfect plant 
There's going to be some of these over here for sure. I'm going to put one there for a start. I think that's going to fill that space lovely. Let's pop one of these over in the corner here. We'll turn it around to make it a little bit more organic. Um, do I want to put one there as well? No, not there. Definitely not there. I think maybe. No, I'm not going to put one there either. I'm just not going to put one anywhere, to be honest with you. I'm just going to keep it like that. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. I do like that indeed. Let me see what light we've got going on in the kind of hot spring area. We do need a little bit of lighting over here. So let's get ye old faithful. Come with me, my sweet. You're going to be used a lot throughout this house. I can feel it. Um, we're going to put one. Oh, that's not in the middle. So I'll go there. One there. One there. And then the same on this side. Oh, I might have difficulty there. So I might have to whiffle them in a little bit tighter. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to whiffle you into about there. Beautiful. You need to come in just a tad more, my sweet. And then we'll do the same with these here as well. Um, Bringing it on that level there. Yeah, that just adds a little bit more of a glow around here now. Yeah, I like that. Okay, all that. Right, so I want more greenery up here. So the greenery in question, I want ferns. <clears throat> I think ferns will just look lush in this area. So we'll go to uh, we'll go to the outdoor pack, whatever it's called. Can't remember. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to have to lift these. Obviously. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we bloody go. Right, you will go on there quite nicely. You won't there, though. So I'm going to size you down and whiffle you up slightly here. Just turn you around. Yes. Yeah, they do look nice there. So we are going to be using these. Um, I don't think any... I think these would be the perfect fern to be with you, to be honest. That looks a bit too tropical. Um, So I'm going to use these ferns all the way around, to be honest. Right, you need to be flopped up a little bit higher as well. Floppity flu. Is this, is this private? Oh god, yeah, this is private. Definitely a nice private area. Um, and the same here as well. Oh, did I size you down? I did. I sized you down too much though, darling, didn't I? Silly me. Right, pop you next to there as well. Yeah, I don't want to like litter it in um furniture. I just want a few dotted around in places like we've just done. Oh, come the fuck on, Bridget. Right, there we go. Platforms. Who wants them? Who needs them? I need them, but I would need them to work properly. You know? I would like them to work properly. Yeah, that's nice. Just a little bit of different, you know, height with the greenery and whatnot. I think that's just added something around there, which is nice. Yeah, I'm for that. Absolutely for that. Okay, well, I'm happy with this bar area. I think it looks absolutely fine. Um, hmm, oh no, I haven't really got anything that could go in there. Uh, oh, uh, uh, just saying, I think that's going to work. I might have to like whiffle it right in there though. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, do I want to do it to the other side as well? We may as well. We may as bloody well. Let's get rid of you, darling. Right, we're going to need to flop you onto there. And I think the same there as well, because I can see you. Right, um, and then flop this one into this space here. So they've got some wine going on out here too. Oh, I'm for that. Oh, do you know what? It's almost made me want to try. Let's try it together. We're going to trial. Trial something. Um, and then maybe the base game one. Let me see. Oh, that looks smashing. Yes. That's what we're doing, darlings. We're going to flop a door on. We're going to flop a door on it. I just think it would work a lot better. Let's get you covered in there. Did I do the inside of that one? No, I did not. <gasps> right. <laughs> Dramatic. Right. And then flop one there as well. Yeah. Cute. So they've almost got like little wine coolers out here as well. Oh, they're bougie as fuck, these two. Absolutely bougie as fuck. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. Okay, lovely, lovely jubbly. Right, I think what I'm going to do off of camera, I'm just going to get the lighting around here sorted and then I'll show you what I came up with. Okay, lighting has been sorted. It looks nice. There's still a few places that I need to like light up properly, but we'll do that as we get to the areas themselves. But 
put them all around the pool areas here including outside the doors um the master suite balcony we've lit up that area too same going through here um the basketball court has been lit up we haven't i haven't done this area yet because we're going to be doing that in the next video we're going to do that area um but yes i think we'll leave it here for today so we managed to get a little bit more done today managed to get the little outside dining space sorted um and including the bar area and the spa um and as i said i'll be back tomorrow tomorrow what we're going to be doing is um the gym and the spa area i'm also going to be doing the master suite balcony area too and this area over here so the uh children's play area and the little gardening area as well just properly done and i'm going to put some more details out the front as well make sure the front's all lit up nicely as well but for now we are done this house is slowly definitely coming along uh, i definitely reckon by tomorrow we'll have the exterior done so next week we'll get into the interiors of this place but there we go my darlings we are done for this part for today as i said i will be back with this tomorrow as well do just crack on with more of the interior exterior um before next week um when we get back and do the interiors so yes tomorrow is going to be pre-recorded and i might be a little bit slack on um answering back comments and reading comments and stuff over the weekend because i'm just going to switch off for my birthday so yes i will see you all tomorrow in the next video goodbye